All right, so I'm starting to get a look at what early 2024 is going to look like here on the channel. And I don't think any of the major games that I wanted to play are coming out in the first quarter from what I see so far. So the games that I'm primarily looking forward to, for those of you who've been around for a while, Star Wars Outlaws, Avowed, a couple of the big ones for me. Um, Dune Awakening will probably be in there if that becomes a this year release. I'll definitely try and that out. Uh, Fable. Um, I'll also be trying that out. Those are the major ones for me that I definitely want to hit this year. But it looks like in terms of the January, February um, block, there's pretty much a drought, at least in terms of things that I want to play. And then we get to March. There's a couple things that I'd like to play, but I'm going to have to prioritize one or the other. So we're going to take a look at this because this is the most up-to-date version based on the gamer.com. I did some browsing this morning. This is a pretty accurate. They may be missing a couple of, like, switch releases or something but i don't play on the switch so it's not that big of a deal to me so without further ado let's take a look at what my early 2024 is going to look like i don't think there's anything in january that i'm going to want to play the prince of persia game looks intriguing but i also don't have a place in my heart anymore for like twitch based rapid fire lots of combo moves and everything else like i just am not a big fan of that i much prefer RPGs, I don't mind shooters at all, like Destiny 2, you know, Halo, I love those games, um, The Division, you know, all those things, uh, and, you know, Jedi Survivor, God of War, those are great games, but those are like single player RPGs, um, and I like that style, whereas the 2D Metroid style is usually a little too combo heavy for me, but it does look slightly interesting, so if I felt that I needed to play something in January, um, it would be that, but I don't think I'm going to. I think for the me, the month of January is just going to be me finishing up Rogue Trader and working on my second playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3 along with World of Warcraft. That's probably going to be my January for the moment. Um, if I had a PS5, I would possibly be compelled to do The Last of Us Part 2, but uh, I don't, I'm not going to go buy a console for one thing. So I think January and February, it's going to be as is, which is Rogue Trader, Baldur's Gate 3, and Warcraft. Now we get to February. Um, I, don't, <clears throat> I don't think there's anything in February that I want to play. I'm on the fence about Skull and Bones. I tried the open demo... And um, it just didn't look like it was going to be a game that I wanted to go spend $70 on. Now, I'm, I'm tentatively interested in King Arthur, A Knight's Tale. Um, let's go pull up a video here real quick if I could find any videos. Um, let's go look. Somebody's got some YouTube footage. I'm going to turn the audio off here because I really just want to see... Um, what the gameplay looks like. I know Slandered Gaming talked about this and said it was a lot of fun when he played it. It's coming to the Series X on February 22nd. So this is a potential February uh, for me if I don't have anything else to do. So let me just look at this really quick. Let's turn the volume up for this part. Mordred did the impossible after all almost killed the king who cannot be killed okay so this is the first early parts of the game great that's my arm over there finally i feel more useful now that voice you acting a sword makes you less useless we must get out of here not a fan Go of the voice the acting and... this is the warden's room prepare for battle how many people can you have in your party, I wonder? So it's another turn-based game. I'm skipping through it, guys, because um, <clears throat> that might be a potential... Um, I've heard good things. I've heard good things. So let's say February. If I'm done with Rogue Trader and I don't have anything else on my plate, I might try out um, King Arthur's A Knight's Tale. However, I say that also saying that I should really play Dragon's Dogma 1 before I play Dragon Dogma 2. And I already own Dragon's Dogma 1. So I just need to see where I'm at headspace-wise 
coming off of Rogue Trader and still continuing my second Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. More than likely, I'm going to go for Dragon's Dogma because it's going to be a chance to do something different than a CRPG for a little bit. But let's say I'm on the fence right now about Dragon's Dogma or this um, King Arthur Knight's Tale. It's kind of going to depend on how I feel at that point. I really should do Dragon's Dogma, though, because uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 is coming out in... March. Now here's the thing. I was I was tempted. I, I have a feeling I would enjoy. Um, it's not on this particular list. It's on a different list that that they have on another, on another part of their website. Um, Homeworld 3 is launching in March, but it's PC only, and I just don't want to play it on my PC because their recommended specs are beyond what I have because I have an older machine. So I know that I wouldn't be able to get the best experience out of that, which is, means it's the first time I've looked at a game and said. I'm a content creator now. I'm probably gonna have to. So I need to upgrade my uh, PC setup. I'm just that's just a fact, you know. It's it's it is what it is. But I do have a Series X, so I'm prioritizing Series X games for the moment. So since Dragon's Dogma 2 is coming out late March um, for the Xbox Series X, um, I think I'll do Dragon's Dogma 2. What is Rise of the Ronin? <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I saw the previews for this the other day. It didn't look that interesting to me. Uh, Alone in the Dark, I don't like horror games. Um, so March, more than likely, is going to be Dragon's Dogma 2. April, I don't see anything in April that excites me so far, but games could be announced in January, February for the April launch. So more than likely, March into April will be me doing Dragon's Dogma 2. So here's how I can imagine the first quarter quick commercial break everyone to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time really appreciate the support all you got to do is join as a member you get access to private videos you can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see and beyond that don't forget we're multi-streaming over on twitch now so you can support over there as well thanks so much to everybody let's get back to the video at hand of um of next year going essentially January and January is going to be finishing up rogue trader and working on my Baldur's Gate three second playthrough. That's going to take multiple months. Baldur's Gate three is going to be a thing that probably is just a game that I play continually for the next six months, like once or twice a week. World of Warcraft is ongoing all throughout the next three years. We've already made a big commitment to having world of Warcraft become about 30% of this channel's content, 25 to 30%. So my Wednesday nights and Saturday nights are locked into World of Warcraft for the next three years at least, because I want to see the entirety of the of uh, the Soul the World Soul Saga. So that part I've already know I'll be doing World of Warcraft throughout the year. I've already got a list of like 50 videos that I'm working on, like one video a week minimum plus the streams. Um, lots of content for me to chew through there, so that's going to be ongoing. Baldur's Gate 3 will probably take me through until the summertime for my second playthrough. And the third game is going to be whatever I call the primary game. Right now, the primary game is Rogue Trader. So, probably in February, it's going to be Dragon's Dogma, since I already have that. I can, I can look at that and say with fair, fair certainty, like 85% leaning towards that. That gets me through to March 22nd. So I should have like, you know, four to six weeks to finish Dragon's Dogma 1, and then I get into Dragon's Dogma 2, which will carry me through the entire month of April, considering it's a late March release. So that's my first four months already planned out. Now, I don't think anything has known yet really for, uh, in terms of May, there's not a lot of releases launched, announced, excuse me, for May. According to this, um, there may be other games that I don't know of. This is Game Rant. Let's see what they have for May. Um, they don't have anything slotted for May or June. May, June is Destiny 2, okay? So, nobody has anything listed for May. Um, I was looking at that. Let's look at GameSpot really quick. They might have a different list. May, um, nothing. And June is Destiny 2, which I probably won't play. Uh, September, I could definitely I'll be playing Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 for sure. Um, but that's so far out I can't know. So that's looking like my January through April is going to be that. Okay. Well, that's pretty easy. Um, that means for the next few months, those of you who are into CRPGs, you're going to be getting a lot of those. 
because we'll be doing um, lots of Rogue Trader, Baldur's Gate 3 for the foreseeable future, lots of World of Warcraft. Dragon's Dogma will become our game for February. It might be January. depends on when I finish Rogue Trader. However quickly I finish Rogue Trader is whenever I start Dragon's Dogma 1. I think Co Carnage is going to be doing a Dragon Dogma 1 playthrough as well. I don't know that he's played before. Maybe he has. But he did. I did see on his Twitter the other day he's thinking about Dragon's Dogma playthroughs. So that's probably a good idea on my part anyway. I'm a smaller content creator, but the nice thing about when a big content creator does stuff like that, um, even though I'm a smaller content creator everybody is seeing more Dragon's Dogma content, and so it helps everybody who's doing content around that window, so that's probably just a good strategic move in the first place. I did find my first impressions of Dragon's Dogma to be slightly janky. I'll get over it. Because the second one looks really, really cool from the trailers that I've seen so far, so I'm really interested in that. So that's what my early 2024 is shaping up to be, everybody. Hopefully that sounds exciting to you. If it does, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Daily streams. Right now we're doing 5 p.m. Central. That's probably going to maintain for the foreseeable future. Uh, Multi-streaming on YouTube and Twitch. But the day-to-day stuff, the guides, the reviews, the news, the movies, the TV shows, everything we do on YouTube remains here on YouTube. There's a Discord. Check it out down below, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Till then, stay safe. Happy gaming, everybody, and keep enjoying your holidays. We're still in that holiday vacation mode.